Welcome to North Kilkenny, one of the most secretive regimes in the world. Under the dictatorship of Jim Young Don, few have got out, but no one has got in until now. The North Kilkenny regime is one of the most secretive in the world. Their supreme leader, Jim Young Don, rules the area with an iron fist. I travelled deep into this area to bring you a rare insight into life in North Kilkenny. I started my journey by heading northwards deep into North Kilkenny regime and visiting Castle Comer Forest. It wasn't long before I could hear Jim Young Dunn's propaganda all over megaphones in the streets. Aaron Zone, GAA Club are once again All-Ireland champions for the 112th time. They have beaten every single team in the country by a combined score of 184 goals and 45,000 points to no score. The streets were empty. It was almost an eerie feeling. Nobody was willing to talk to me about their supreme leader, Jim Young Don. I decided to move on fast. I travelled west between Ballyuskill and Balnakil and landed in Ballyragged. It wasn't long before I could hear the supreme leader, Jim Young Dunn's propaganda all over the megaphones on the streets of Ballyragged. The whole Fifi thing never happened. It was all a set-up, probably by those evil people from South Kilkenny. You are not allowed to name your child Fifi. Anybody who wants a haircut has to get one called the Ballyragged Bowl. It's the only one approved. The locals wouldn't speak to me and things were looking a little bit dodgy, but finally I got a breakthrough in Kilkenny. Okay, so after um, a lot of chasing around and uh, basically using every contact I have, I've managed to track down somebody who has defected from North Kilkenny. They've agreed to an interview as long as I conceal their identity, but uh, this should be good, so let's go. First of all, thank you so much for agreeing to meet with me. I know you're risking your life. Can you tell us what was life really like in the secretive regime of North Kilkenny? Life in North Kilkenny was very tough. We had it harsh growing up. We would have to listen to propaganda on the streets from Jim Young Don that we were good at all sorts of things like hurling when the truth is we knew we weren't. Wow, and can you tell us please... Um, the moment you defected from North Kilkenny, how did that come about and um, how did you escape? I was working in the Avonmore factory in Ballyragget at the time. Me and 84 and my cousins, 16 brothers and 74 sisters were all working on a Saturday one morning when we all decided to hitch a ride on the back of the lorry, which was going off to the green pastures of Kilkenny. We came into Coma Road, it got a little bit dodgy as we passed the army barracks. Those soldiers are not there to defend the country, they're actually there to stop people from North Kilkenny defecting, but we made it in the end, thankfully. Do you miss North Kilkenny? Do I miss it? Of course I miss it. I miss going doing maybe four or five pubs in Comer and the coal mine inn in Shortles, then back down into Ballyragget to Fitzpatrick's, then to the cave bar and to the rock bar, all within the one night, because we were allowed driving North Kilkenny. We had different rules than everybody else. But you mightn't get out there till the next morning if there was a lock-in, or sometimes even Tuesday. That often happened. So yeah, I do miss it, but my liver doesn't miss it at the moment because that's getting a good old break, you know? Fantastic insight. Thank you so much again and promise we will conceal your identity. Oh,